Hello and welcome back and I hope all of you guys are okay out there in the world during COVID-19 and self-isolation and lockdown. But I've got some good news for you. There's going to be a brand new Synology SSD upgrade card. I know, for you. Tell my word for it though, it's actually quite an interesting idea. Synology have always been in the business of a lot of um, kind of expansion and upgrade cards across their series of devices and a lot of their business units arrive by default with PCIe upgrade slots. Now last year we talked about an upgrade card, the E10 M20 and I do have an upcoming video on that one coming soon. That card is very much real and very much coming soon but today I want to talk about the upgrade to the M2 D18. This is the M2 D20, I know super imaginative name but hear me out. This is their brand new SSD cache card. It takes everything that was available in the M2D18 and pretty much makes it all better, you know, increases and improves a number of different things. For a start, it's going to be supporting NVMe SSDs once again, but this time it supports all the way up to 22110. That is the full length of NVMe SSDs. For those that aren't aware, NVMe SSDs, in terms of speed, they're getting bigger and better and better, but in terms of capacity, they largely reach their limits. And that's why newer generation SSDs that are arriving in the market towards the end of the year, and there's been a bit of a slowdown because of COVID, um, these, S these NVMEs are much longer length because they need a larger circuit board or PCB to put all the NAND chips on. And these larger generation of NVMEs that have got even more storage capacity available at a more affordable price without inc incredible compression techniques um, are going to be supported on this brand new NVMe SSD card. So, larger capacity, which is good news for anyone that's running arrays that take advantage of like large 16TB Seagate Ironwolf hard drives, those enormous, the biggest ones you can currently get. If you've got a RAID array, like an 8 bay, like an 1819, that's a lot of storage. And trying to complement that level of RAID storage with an SSD, you are going to hit that bottleneck with it if you're not able to utilize larger SSDs on that board of NVMe. So do take advantage of that. Now, SSD and NVMe kind of stuff with Synology isn't new, but in the last year, year and a bit, we've seen huge moves forward from them in the field of SSD caching. Let's face it, DSM-7, one of the biggest hit features they talked about in any of their worldwide trade shows was them highlighting they're going to be utilizing brand new SSD algorithms, uh, the ability to offload and reconnect your SSD um, SSD cache a great deal easier without having to unmount stuff to you know inconveniently. And on top of that, that algorithm is going to give you better results for that SSD that's working parallel with the hard drives in your RAID. So bigger SSD supported fantastic uh, and with the newer generation of disk stations all arriving uh, i'll say all of them the 920 the 420 and the 720 all arriving with nvme ssd caching bays as well as that six bay that we're still waiting for the ds1620xs or ds1621xs depending on when the release date is yes that's a motorbike outside ignore it um but on top of that we have got the idea that this brand new card arrives with PCIe Gen 3 times 8 Now, in of itself, that's not too exciting or sexy, is it? It's fairly normal and acceptable. But given that the previous generation was, a, I believe, a Gen 2 times 8 this newer generation is going to allow you to take advantage of speed improvements that have been integrated in the last couple of years in NVMe, and therefore allow you to get a great deal more out of those SSD media that you install inside. Now, pretty much all of the current gen of Synology disk stations that have been released in the most recent generation and the up and coming generation all arrive with at least PCIe Gen 3 times 8 which means this card will be able to be utilized in those newer devices, the DS2419+, plus, the DS1819, any of those newer gen PCIe enabled NASes are going to be able to use this card and allow you to take advantage of SSD caching. Finally, the big difference between this and its predecessor is apparently this card arrives with five years of manufacturer's warranty, which is good, good news. I believe the previous card had three years, so it's great to see an upgrade there. Now, I know this card might not seem as exciting as the E10 M20 Ti card that we've talked about before. That's the NVMe SSD cache and 10 GBE combo card, which will hopefully come very, very soon. But this card for me is a 
there's a good enough leap forward that you should be interested in it. And although if you're buying the new generation of disc stations, you're not really going to get the most out of this, everyone else with a more business sense and business utilization of Synology's hardware is going to be interested in this. It's not all good, let's be honest, that this card supports these NVMEs, these super fast NVMEs, but from what I understand, Synology's disk station platform will still not allow you to use these SSDs for raw storage, which is a real shame because I know a number of you, when you look at the NVMe bays in the 920 or the 918 or any of the NASs, you want to take advantage of those super fast media bays for raw storage. And unfortunately, that is just not going to be possible on this card. In every other sense, it seems to be an ideal way to improve the performance of your network attached storage, hard drive array, mechanical hard drives, a little bit clunky, a little bit slow. And um, anyone who's been following this channel for the last month or so will know that um, I found a leak to do with Synology's range of SSDs. That's right, they are gonna be producing their own branded range of SSDs. Whether these uh, are going to be like the uh, rebadge ones, like Seagate ones that we've seen before, I, it does look like from the capacities that it is factoring in over provisioning, which is definitely a good thing. That's when the amount of space here has a little bit extra there to keep things moving. But overall, I'm looking forward to this card. I've done some speed tests on its predecessor as well as doing SSD speed tests on the likes of the 918 and the 1019. And I liked what I see from Synology's algorithms with SSD caching. But let's hold full judgment until this card arrives with us. Do visit the links in the description to find out more about this card and of course, all the other new releases from Synology now is for 2020 and 2021. I know, whew, almost like halfway through the year and we're still talking about that. Otherwise, click like if you've enjoyed this, click subscribe to learn more and I'll see you next time.